All right, so the goal here is to solve for x in terms of a. So uh, I notice in our first term we have an x here attached to an a squared, and on the right-hand side we have x multiplied by a plus 1. Now, there's lots of things that I can do here, but since I, I'm solving for x, I want to get my x terms on the same side. So I'm going to subtract a plus 1 times x from both sides. And so I'll put that here, minus a plus 1 times x. And I also want to move out this, this term out of the way, minus a minus 1 on both sides. Now what this does, I'm not going to really calculate anything here. I'm just going to kind of shuffle things around. We have a squared x minus a plus 1 times x. And then these cancel out, plus a minus 1 minus a minus 1. And then on the right-hand side here, uh, a plus 1 times x minus itself is 0. And what's left over is minus a minus 1. So here, it might not be immediately obvious what we can do, but we want x all by itself. So I, I see in both terms, you've got an x, right? So we can factor that out. So x times a squared minus a plus 1, right? Oops equals minus a minus 1. So now I've got to solve for x. Let me just divide by this whole term. a squared minus a plus 1 on both sides. So we have a squared minus a plus 1. This is We're dividing by this whole thing here. So on the left-hand side, these cancel out. right? Anything divided by itself except for 0 is 1. And on the right-hand side, we have minus a minus 1. So we're going to distribute the negative sign, negative a, plus 1. And then here, it's over a squared minus a minus 1. Right? So all I did on the bottom was distribute the negative sign. And here, if we look at what we've done, we've solved for x in terms of a. All right. Hope this helped.